What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I've had a few people ask me uh, after I did the Dolphin OS video on, on to do a video showing how to connect a controller and play GameCube games on your iPhone on iOS 15 uh, with a controller. And uh, this is how you do it. Uh, if you guys need to see how to get Dolphin OS, uh, the link will be in the description for you guys if you wanna see how to get this application. But it's pretty damn cool. Now, I'm gonna be using the GameSir X2 uh, in this video. I did do a full review of this controller. Link is in the description, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but just take note that you can use pretty much any MFI supported controller. Like, you could use your Xbox controller, you could use your PlayStation controller, you could use Backbone. You could use all these controllers to play GameCube games on your iPhone. Now to start, it's really straightforward. You just go into settings and just go into Bluetooth and just make sure the controller that you want to use is connected to your iPhone. So as you can see, I am connected to my GameSir X2. And that's pretty straightforward for all controllers. You just do your Bluetooth pairing button, whatever that might be on that controller, pair it and connect it. That's all you gotta do. Like I said, this works with the Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, any MFI can, uh, supported controller will work. So now that you have your, your controller connected, what we can do is go into Dolphin OS, and I'm not gonna return there, and we need to connect to the controller before we start playing the game. So we go into settings, and then we go into controllers, and then you go to whatever you're gonna play. So you can, I guess, use Wii remotes too as well. I might have to test that. I do have a, a Wii remote that might be pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna play a GameCube game, so we're gonna go into port one for GameCube, and we're gonna choose our device. Now by default, this is set to the touch screen. So when you guys come in here, you're gonna see it's iOS touch screen. Uh, and what you do is just click on device and then you select whatever controller you have connected to your iPhone that will list here. So if you have the Xbox controller, it will show here. Um, you know, basically any, any controller that's connected via Bluetooth will show up in this list and just make sure you select it. Now you can configure the controller as well. So if you need to remap any of the buttons, you can do that through the configure section. As you can see buttons there, you can change the D-pad, the control stick, C-stick, triggers, rumble, options. Uh, that's just one option there. So you can remap the buttons if you want as well. And then another thing um, is, I think it was an option. I can't remember where it was. Somewhere in the settings is you can disable, I think the, the over, lay for the touch controls. Um, I can't remember where it is, but if for whatever reason the touch controls still show up, even though you have a controller connected, just go into touch screen and make the button opacity zero. That's all you gotta do uh, to make those, those overlays go away. And that's pretty much it. Now we are ready to launch a game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up Alt Store and I'm gonna enable JIT in the application so that we can go ahead and uh, launch Super Mario Sunshine. So now if I click on the game, there we go, we are loaded up. So let's go ahead and slap it into the X2, which this this is freaking cool. I think this is so awesome. So this controller is kind of like a Nintendo Switch, I think, it reminds me of the Nintendo Switch. And I'm playing GameCube on my iPhone, on iOS 15, no jailbreak required. And I think this is just absolutely awesome. You know, back when I had the GameCube, the actual console, I never would have thought in a million years that I would have, you know, this skinny futuristic phone <laughs> that I can connect a controller like this to it and play it years and years later on a phone, you know, on the go, anywhere I want. This is basically a mobile, console which is just awesome so as you can see it does play the buttons do work we can get out oh apparently we're gonna go for a quick swim but as you guys can see you can change the the camera angle just like so you can use your buttons jump jump you know it all works it works pretty well and uh it's pretty damn awesome to be able to play this on an iphone i think it's pretty sweet so like i said all of the uh links that you guys will need will be down in the description if you guys want to see how to get Dolphin OS, you can check out my dedicated tutorial for that. If you guys wanna check out the controller review for the X2 here, link is 
it down in the description for that as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.